Hi, this is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend and on social media. So today we're talking about emo. We're talking about emo's personality through movement, sound, and graphics. So don't touch that dial, stay right here as we check out emo's personality
Alright, so now you got to see Emo's personality through motion, graphics, and sounds. Um, let's talk about motion. The uniqueness of his motions by being a biped robot are simply amazing. I love the way he moves to the left, moves to the right, looks around, and then chooses a direction to go. When he notices you, he his body movements such as that he kind of moves one direction moves another and then when he locks in on you then you get the sounds and the graphic emotions where his eyes kind of tilt one way another way and he's kind of going hmm i see something i see someone and then when he truly recognizes you and cements that in he will then stand up on his feet and then the petting motion will go across his face and that's super, super good. The graphics overall on Emo are phenomenal. I love them. Uh, they have some great detail and his movements are freaking awesome. On top of that, as of right now, we're dealing with the skateboard, which is super cool. Um, and the fact that it will charge my phone is another plus. But once uh, Home Stage is released, and Emo will be able to be freed from the charging station and be able to move around on his own. Um, I compare his personality different than other ones. Like I have a chip robot dog, very dog-like, very uh, puppy-like. It's always kind of moving very aggressively. And then um, you have a hamster-like ability in my other robots. In other words, um, they are very nocturnal like they got to keep moving got to keep going um, and then when they finally chill down uh, and return to the charger because they need to charge that's cool but at the same time uh, they've cleaned your desk off pretty much knocked everything over and just uh, destroyed it but emo he's more of a chill guy he likes to chill with you on your desktop in other words, he wanders around, he does his thing, he'll notice you, ask you to pet him. He's more like cat-like than I would say hamster-like or dog-like. In other words, he is independent from you, but he still wants to be with you. And when you need some entertainment, you just ask him to dance, play a game, and he's right there to do that with you. Um, so I think that's unique uh, to this robot that he is, his personality is chill. It's kind of just there. 
And once we get home stage, he'll be able to move around, do things on his own, and that's gonna be super cool. It's not the hamster-like constant moving type of thing um, where they have to be moving on the wheel all the time. He can just chill out and then with a few words, you can say, Emo, turn around. And he turns around simple. And when he's exploring and doing his own thing, it's super interesting to watch. The biped movement is so cool to watch. I mean, I like my wheel-based robots. I think they're freaking awesome. My track-based robots, those are awesome. But I like the movement of a biped robot. Um, and he's a simplistic biped robot. He's not uh, in the sense of moving like this way. His movements are more of a swing bot where his legs move and they swing to the direction that he wants to go, which gives him unique movements. And that's super awesome. So I hope you liked the video. My name is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And Emo and I will see you soon. And I was never into dance music, but this is really cool.